to decide the 1999 Gold Cup. Look who has the inside, Mark Weber. Then it's Chip Hanauer in the Pico. Vilwak in the Bud will be out in lane three. Greg Hopp grabs lane four. Chrysler Jeep and Steve David on the outside. Coming down to the start, five seconds. Watch the countdown. Three, two, one. It's a legal start. Mark Weber first across the line. The Pico right beside him. The Bud back a bit. Vilwak has some traffic to get through here if he's going to contend. A great way to start this race. You can sense that these drivers wanted to time it perfectly. The Bud has talked before about starting a little later and catching up to the field with this superior speed and cornering abilities. That's what he's trying to do right now. But right now, from the O'Doul's eye of the sky, it is Miss Pico and Chip Hanauer with that lead. Right there, the Budweiser actually moved from third place up into second as he got by Mark Weber. Right now, the second and third place boats are neck and neck, but look at the Pico go. We have not seen this boat run like this today. Can Hanauer stay ahead of the Budweiser? He has four and a half very long laps where he'd have to do that, but he has a great start here in the final heat of the 99 Gold Cup. And look at the turning ability of Chip Hanauer around the rooster tail turn. Jackie Leland loves what she sees so far, but we talked about it earlier, Steve. It's a five-lap marathon, and Chip Hanauer, as good as he is, is still going to have to come up with one of the best races of his life to hold off Dave Vilwak. We saw it in one of the preliminaries. Hanauer had a bigger lead than this, and Vilwak drove around him, but I don't think Miss Pico was running like she is right now. This is the fastest this boat has looked all season. From the O'Doul's eye in the sky, you see about a rooster tail lead for Chip Hanauer as they go into the Belle Isle curve turn, and Dave Vilwak has his work cut out for him. Hanauer has built the lead. He is further ahead of the Budweiser than he was last time through the Belle Isle turn. One and a half laps down now, three and a half to go, and we could have quite a story developing here. What a look at Chip Hanauer as he is leading the field, and everyone's been running so well in the Detroit River. Greg Hopp, Mark Weber, Dave Milwaukee and Hanauer, of course, but everyone else is being left in the dust right now. Chip Hanauer is leading this field, and Bernie Little is urging on Miss Budweiser. Who knows if Bud's got it in his gas tank? You can see exactly what Bernie was saying. Go get him. Go get him. He has a lot of time left. Look at Hanauer fly that boat. He is walking sponsor to sponsor at 200 miles per hour, and I'm sure the last thing on his mind, Rich, is that three years ago he went on his head right there and nearly ended his career, if not his life. From the O'Doul's eye in the sky, you see Chip Hanauer maintaining the lead on Dave Vilwak. Steve, we tried to talk to Chip before the race. We tried to talk to Fred Leland before the race. Neither of them were talking to the media. They knew they had to get their heads together, a meeting of the minds, a brain trust, if you will, to get this race under their belts. And right now they are running the race of their lives, beating Dave Vilwak at this point for the 99 APBA Gold Cup, the last Gold Cup of the millennium. Hundreds of thousands of fans up and down the Detroit River here, realizing that Budweiser is not catching Miss Pico. They have to be as shocked as Dave Vilwak is. The progressive tool company, Pico, is headquartered in Detroit. They have thousands of fans here. I think most of them are in the pits, Rich, and they're going crazy. But here comes the Bud. He's on the inside now. He can't keep it in there. He has to go back across the wake of the Pico. And if he stayed inside that inside lane and tried to get his nose in there, Steve, he might have risked turning that boat upside down, getting caught in chips roost tell he thought better of it staying back in second place we are about one and three quarters of a lap to go in this final greg hop currently running in fourth just behind the third place driver right now mark weber and there is miss chrysler jeep steve david another popular boat here in detroit in fifth but it's chip hanauer continuing to lead this race this crowd these crews these owners shocked that the budweiser has not been able to make up some of this lead that hanauer has established the white flag flies could it be that Chip Hanauer's 61st career victory will be his 11th Gold Cup. He has to hold off Vilwak and the Budweiser. One more lap, Rich. And that is a great shot. Dave Vilwak has indeed come up to the inside lane, but he still hasn't made up any ground. There's Mark Weber fighting for third place with Greg Hopp and Steve David, two very formidable drivers behind him. That water looks a lot.
lot smoother than it is from the Odul's eye in the sky as the Pico is pounding through that big, sweeping 1,500-foot Belle Isle turn. A little over half a lap now for Hanauer. The Budweiser would have to pull off a miracle here to catch him, and we're going to have a big story if this is the way this Gold Cup ends. And Steve, as much as Chip Hanauer enjoys racing on the Detroit River, I'm sure right now what's going through his mind is I cannot wait for this race to be over to see that checkered flag. It can't come too soon for Chip and the Miss Pico. Every one of those holes in this very rough river looks twice as deep right now for Chip Hanauer around the rooster tail turn. The checkered flag flies. Miss Pico and Chip Hanauer have won the 1999 Gold Cup defeating Dave Bilwock and Miss Budweiser Mark. It was this one and it came when it counted most in the finals. The APBA Gold Cup going to Chip Hanauer for the 11th time and ecstatic people on the docks of the Miss Pico crew. There's Jackie Leland hugging the rest of her boys. And you know Fred Leland is somewhere celebrating as well. All the fans out here loving what they just saw. Miss Pico in first, followed by Miss Budweiser, Miss DYC and Mark Weber in third. Easton Hotels, Chrysler Jeep, Ken Muscatel did not start this race. Miss Budweiser loses 100 points of ground to Miss Pico, but still leads the overall high point standings. It is celebration time in the pits for Chip, the Lelands, the Pico crew, and all of their fans.